Welcome to Dr. Stengler's Natural Healing. Today we have a very interesting topic. We're going to be talking about prescription drugs, over-the-counter drugs, and what nutrients they may be depleting from your body. It is a, it's a huge wake-up call to, uh, to a lot of us, well, to many people out there that are using these drugs. And uh, what is, this is freaky. I will read the <laughs> statistic. In 1986, there were fewer than 900 prescription medications. And now, there are over 8,000, and that's prescription. That doesn't mean over-the-counter, right? That doesn't, does it count both, or that just means prescription? Prescription, right. Yeah, so then you don't count the over-the-counter medications. If you did, that would be even more. Well, it is astounding. We know that Americans spend $200 billion a year on prescription drug medications, $200 billion. Uh, we know that with some seniors, we know that the average American over age 57 takes five or more prescription drugs. At least one third of Americans 57 years and older take five or more prescription drugs. So, but what a lot of people don't realize, a lot of these medications deplete you of nutrients. Leads to things like fatigue, weak immunity, other side effects, and people just don't realize that's possibly coming from their drugs. Right, so they might have another ailment and then they don't realize, oh, that's a common side effect of this drug I'm taking. There are some more statistics that are a little alarming uh, that, that have come out of the Journal of, a Medical, Journal of American Medical Association. Yes. Why don't you read that off your little well, cheat sheet there? Well, I know that one. That's yeah, very, you do. You know that, that one by uh, heart, don't you? 106,000 people at least each year die as a result of adverse effects from pharmaceutical medications. We know that 5% of hospital admissions are due to negative drug side effects. Now, those numbers are probably a lot higher, but right. nevertheless, that's the, the minimum uh, for the statistics. 106,000 people die each year. That's like a little war going on right inside America here. Well, you know, it's just one more reason to incorporate natural medicine to common ailments that people use over the prescription, you know, prescription drugs for, over-the-counter drugs for. Let's talk about uh, some of these. First sure. question for you, Mark, is when a patient comes to you and they are on a load of prescription drugs, mm -hmm. do, are they even aware of some of these side effects? No. no, they're really not. Their doctors usually aren't aware of the nutrients that can be depleted. And there's actually very few books out there on what drugs, uh, drugs and the nutrients they deplete. So no, people aren't, aren't aware at all. So one of the things we do with patients, we educate them. Mm -hmm. Look, if you're gonna be on these drugs, you should at least take these nutrients, get, a, get these nutrients in foods or in supplements, so you don't have deficiencies and more health problems. I mean, ultimately, of course, we like to work on the root causes of why they're sick to begin with, and then try and wean them off some or all those drugs and replace them with, with a more holistic, natural approach. So if someone is taking a, a prescribed drug in the little drug leaflet, does it say that these nutrients may de be depleted from no. your body? No. So that, they would have no idea. That is not a typical uh, type of information included in the insert package. So how do, how do you know? I mean, you wrote this huge book. I can show it, right? Sure. Prescription for Drug Alternatives. Uh, it's a very interesting book. How, how do you know all this information? Well, there's published research on the nutrients and uh, you know what they can be depleted in with different drugs. So there is research out there. It's just, it's just not, not on the drug package. If the person is taking a drug, they're not going to know that this drug is going to cause this nutrient to be depleted from my body. Right. Well, there's a lot hmm, of that's too bad. There's um, there's a lot of studies out there on the nutrients that are depleted by these drugs. Mm -hmm. um, it's not widely known information. I've looked through the research. It's there, uh, but you know there's a lot of drugs out there, we don't know what nutrients they deplete. Right. Oh, that's So true. there's a lot of information coming, but that's why people need a good diet and need to take nutritional supplements to guard against these deficiencies, especially if they're on medications. Okay, well, so let's talk about one of the most popular drugs used in America that would be a drug for acid reflux. Yes. First, what are some of the most common ones that people out there would know about? Well, the, the, the class really is proton pump inhibitors. Okay. okay. Very common medications, you know, 100 million prescriptions a year, these medications. So what are these medications used for? Well, they're used to suppress stomach acid, so people can get relief for their heartburn and reflux. As a matter of fact, there's over 100 million prescriptions given out a year for this class of acid-blocking medications. So what nutrients do they deplete? Well, several nutrients. Remember, if we go back to general physiology, and a lot of doctors aren't even aware of this, but you need stomach acid to absorb B12, calcium, magnesium, many of your minerals. So you can see all the effects you could have systemically if you become deficient in these nutrients. So for example, B12 you need for energy and memory. Calcium obviously you need for, your, for the bones. We know one study in the Journal of American Medical Association found those on these types of acid-blocking medications had a 44% increased risk of breaking a hip because they can't absorb yes. their calcium. 
And a lot of seniors are taking these medications. So now they're even more prone to these nutrient depletions from, from these stomach acid blocking drugs that you're talking about. Yeah, so optimally we'd want people to work with natural ways to balance out why they're getting a reflux through their diet and natural supplements we'll talk about in a bit. Okay. But if you're going to be on these medications, you certainly got to supplement the nutrients they're depleting to prevent further health problems down the road. Okay, and is there an easy way that they can take those nutrients? Because if they're, they don't want to swallow them, they, they're liquid forms. Sure, I mean, your supplements available in, in dissolvable capsules. There's powders, there's right. liquids. Um, many capsules will dissolve, break down well, too. Okay, all right, we're going to take a break, and when we get back, we are going to continue our talk about pharmaceutical medications and the nutrients they deplete.